Hello guys, Master Monster here. Quick, here with a quick channel update. Um, there you go, I should have addressed that before. So I uh, got back from a Census Fail concert uh, recently. The shirt that I got um, for $25 and a uh, EP album um, with uh, three, other, three new songs, uh, Just to Prove and Your Absence from Deathbed. And two re of uh, of family tradition, lost and found. Um, and I just want to say they sound really nice. It's a uh, it's a much more laid back kind of um, not as heavy uh, metal, more acoustic. Um, and I think that's what a lot of the new album is probably gonna be. They said so they were gonna have a new album uh, in the summer, I think. Um, but I I think I posted all or most of the. Uh, the footage I recorded there, um, just of them playing the music. I don't know. I was just recording it just so I have it, um, somewhere. Um, I might be doing some, uh, uh some Pokemon Go, um, style, uh, videos. Uh, maybe just like evolve things and talking about Pokemon Go, um, sometime in the future. Um, just because, uh, Chikorita. Gotta get it. Um, just just because uh, I I like Pokemon Go. I play it all the time because I uh, I walk to work. Don't have a take these damn things off. Stupid the reflection. Uh, I don't like the um uh I lost my train of thought. Um, but anyways, uh. I, I'm I need to look into maybe getting recording software on the phone. It's a 32 gig phone that I bought a little while back, um, not too long ago, but um, not re not too recent either. Um, and it's pretty nice. Um, the um, I might like I said I'm evolved stuff. Uh, been saving up my Pokemon. I got a I got a Magby. Uh, my gosh, get used to doing this. Whatever. Um, I got a maybe, uh, from an egg, which I guess I had a 1.63% chance of getting. Um, it was around 5k or something. Um, and then I got this Sirkin. I thought it was gonna suck, but, uh, apparently Sirkin's, uh, for a level of 22 or 20, uh, 23, I think that's what I am. Uh, 192 is pr uh, supposedly good for a Sirkin. Um, so, yay. Uh, and I have the, I have the, uh, it's a Sunstone. To evolve it, it, you can see it in black there. Probably need to do something with the brightness if I'm going to be flashing up stuff up on screen. Um, and I got a right. Oh god, they took it out of the gym. Well, oh, nothing good lasts forever. Oh, I still have a Pokemon in a gym though. That's badass. All right. Um, I've been trying to get Poke for some free Pokecoins by dialing gyms. Uh, mainly the one, one by the two by my work. Um, and stuff, but um. This isn't really much about Pokemon. Uh, so about the miniature series uh, that I've been working on. Um, I'm trying not to start up too many uh, games at once, even though technically this series is about finishing the games I've already started. Um, recently, or a little while back, I posted one about uh, the forest, and um, although I already put some time in the forest, I haven't actually said, okay, let's finish this game, not not just build some stuff and, and do things. Uh, and me, me and Fish are gonna be doing that um, together, but and that's why I don't do that as often. And you know, whenever I see him on, I try to ask him, you know, like, hey, you want you want to play the forest? He's uh he's really into um, Seven Days to Die, um, which yeah, if you looked at my channel and went through some of my old videos, I have a bit of gameplay up for that. Um, and so he's been doing Seven Days to Die. He's got like two things running. I uh. I'm waiting for the generate the electricity update uh, for Seven Days to Die. Uh, will be coming out with generators and stuff. Um, probably not gonna come out for an, at least another month now. But um, I know the dev for devs. Uh, I think it's like one guy, but it might be a, a small smaller team. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into that part of the development. Um, but I, I know that's gonna be in there, and maybe like a new special infected. I don't know. I uh. I was I've watched a few. I guess he has some sort of dev diary thing. If I find it, I'll put it in the description of this video, so you guys can check it out if you like Seven Days to Die. Um. 
Yes, I that. Uh, I think I might not be recording uh, Talus Principles. Uh, I might could give up on the game, but I'm just really unsure as to how uh, how to complete the game. Um, the instructions I found online were uh, the the very general instructions was oh just just do the things to get to the next thing and then you'll be done. But uh, the uh, the door. It's still uh, locked, the heaven door. Um, and I was trying to record, I think, yesterday, but I got a phone call uh, that I had to deal with. And then I'm like, well, I'm not doing this anymore. So I deleted the footage. Um, so I don't know. I might record some more of it. I might just record the end of it, to be honest with you. I might I might uh, just keep it the recordings up, or up while I'm playing. And then when I figure out I'm finally finishing it, uh, I'll, uh, stop rec I'll start recording. Um, that way just gonna say I've done it, um, but the problem with recording that is because I don't do editing, I could spend a lot of time on one puzzle or a couple puzzles, and, uh, and I don't think it's gonna be, um, it's not something I really want to put up, even though I, uh, I do appreciate the puzzles they have in the game, figuring them out, um, puzzle games are one of my favorite games, uh, to play, mostly because, um, it's not mindless, uh, shooter games, in general, especially Call of Duty shooter games, it's just Twitch-based, mindless shooting, uh, you know, pick X OP gun and go at it, uh, I mean, even the Division's pretty mindless, uh, I mean, you can, you can break the Division down to just timing of skills and med packs and keeping everything stocked up and just using the most overpowered build you can, um, which is totally not how I play, but you know, a lot of people will criticize you for not using an assault rifle or not using X and Y and I like to use shotguns and uh cyber rifles, you know, so it's whatever. Um I just don't think they have it perfect as far as uh playstyle and stuff. Uh the Dark Zone's definitely not perfect in that game. Um I still think they need a solo Dark Zone. Um I'm sure people could be like, Oh, let's team but at the end of the day they can still shoot each other, they can still they can't heal each other. Um, and that deal going on there. Um, uh, not much else to go say. I, uh, oh, I am planning a vacation on uh, come June through July, uh, 5th and June 28th, and I'll be visiting my family, so that would be nice. Um, going to see a pink concert at the, any, uh, at Summerfest down in Milwaukee, which is where I was born. I actually haven't been in Milwaukee. Um, pretty much since I was born, maybe once or twice. Um, but it's not like I have any memories there. I was born and then I was living in, uh, I was living in Toma, um, Wisconsin, uh, for the rest of my childhood since I was, like, out of kindergarten. So, um, it's not like I have memories there. I mean, I do have, like, two or three of, like, maybe some people. I remember a guy, a uh, little, uh, little kid I used to hang out with named Aaron, and I remember getting in trouble with his mom, but, uh, that was, like, like I said, when we were in kindergarten, um, why I remember that stuff, I don't know, because, uh, I guess it was a strong memory, um, but visiting my family is definitely a strong point, um, my hair is starting to, starting to grow back a bit, you got, you got a centimeter, at least a centimeter or two there, um, when it goes back a little bit more, I will be dyeing my hair, actually, before we go to the concert. Uh, my hair should be pretty grown back before then. It's in, a couple, it's in month, a couple months from now. She wants to dye, like, the tip of her hair pink because she's always wanted to do something with her hair. And, uh, I'm gonna dye my hair red and black because, uh, those are my favorite colors. So, yeah. Um. Hmm. I don't think I ever, I should have pulled this out during the, uh, during the uh the true phoenix gameplay video but i picked this up when uh in high school when they're were, they're were closing down everything i gotta take off my headphones <laughs> it's something i guess i guess they used it for something but this is like my giant ridiculous a dusty Mexican like sombrero. I don't even think it's what is it? Hacho. Oh, it was made in Mexico. Okay, so that's legit. <laughs>
Oh snap. It just sits behind my desk there. Um, I might wear it in my next, uh, my next face cam Spanish speaking video, but I don't know. I just kind of keep it around because it's, it's, I guess it's a cool de desk de uh, decoration. So it just kind of sits behind there collecting dust. Um, but if I was thinking about it, I totally would have wore it. Um, not much else to say. Um, should I take a photo? Funny. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, anyone happen to be in Milwaukee or going to Milwaukee for Summerfest, hit me up. Um, just like the, the last time I was going to a concert, I'd uh, like to meet people. Um, that see my content, all like five of you are, uh, well, assuming, I actually, what, I hit 56, 57 subs recently, uh, I, I pay very close attention to that, uh, and I appreciate every single one of you, um, to anyone that subscribes or likes my video, or especially comments, uh, I appreciate those a lot more than likes or subs, is, uh, comments, um, even if at first they don't seem too nice, I don't mind talking it out. Uh, thank you all for all your support and contribution to this channel. And uh, if you got, if you guys know anyone that might like my videos, send them my way, please. <laughs> I don't really self-advertise too much, but I don't much most care. But if you have a friend that you know might be interested in playing with me or recording stuff with me, send them my way. Uh, thank you all and have a nice day.